Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new tutorial. In my previous video we have created this uh, food uh, menu application in Adobe XD and now we're going to implement this exact design in Android Studio as well. So before we go to the Android Studio uh, we need to export few files here. So uh, select uh, this notification bell icon and uh, uh, navigation icon on the left and the uh, yellow uh, header uh, as well and after that click Control e and export those three uh, SVGs on uh, desktop okay so next we're going to import uh, those SVGs in our project so uh, click uh, vector new vector asset and uh, select from the desktop all, all the three uh, resources we have uh, exported so this is a header and again click uh, vector asset uh, now select uh, other uh, menu uh, icon and uh, one more for notification as well ok click ok finish and that's it so uh, next uh, we have already imported uh, those uh, assets and now we're going to create new Android resource directory for a font. So just select this uh, font from the drop down menu. And uh, we're going to drag and drop those three fonts SF Pro Display uh, Bold, Heavy, and Light. So drag and drop in this font directory. Click OK. And uh, remember, uh, those names of those files should be all uh, lowercase letters. So uh, now uh, head over to uh, main activity and inside on create method uh, I have this uh, code which will um, create a full screen activity. It's uh, better for the eye, it's, it looks uh, much better that way. So next uh, add new image view and select header uh, from our resource directory. Now change the ID to uh, header and let's uh, connect all those uh, constraints because we're using constraint layout as our parent layout so uh, connect all those constraints uh, we need to connect the uh, top constraint as well okay uh, left and uh, right constraint will be zero and uh, now select this uh, match constraints so we need to increase the size of this uh, of this uh, header a little bit so it will fit in the screen okay and now uh, select from the layout width select um, match constraints and it will shrink uh, to match the constraint or, or to match our parent Alright, now that we have uh, added our header, uh, we will proceed by uh, by adding a text box or text view, sorry. So, uh, text view will be the name for our activity. And uh, let's first uh, run the application to see uh, how it looks. Okay, as you can see, a uh, yellow header on top of the screen. It's... Uh, pretty good so far now let's add text view and let's change the text to a menu uh, color okay we should add color before that so in values directory select uh, colors XML and let's add the uh, black and white colors here so okay now change this to white and we have our two colors here and now uh, this text will be black color so we need to add the text size to 32 SP and the font family to uh, um, to heavy SF Pro display heavy now let's connect constraints to our uh, to our parent here which is uh, as I can see here which is header so left right and top constraints uh, okay top constraint uh, should be around 25 maybe so uh, change this to 25 
Okay, it's uh, better now. Uh, next, uh, we're going to change the ID of our uh, menu to, well, let's say, uh, hmm, menu title. Okay, that, that will be the ID. So we're getting an error here uh, for our image view here because we need to add uh, in our uh, Gradle build application module uh, one line of code which is uh, vector drawables dot use support library equals to true. Uh, we need to add this line of code if, uh, when we are work working with um, vector files which is uh, SVG. Okay, now the error disappeared. So uh, we are good and now we are going to import uh, to our icons which is uh, notification and uh, navigation. So first let's import this navigation icon here. Let's connect constraints left, right and top. So right constraint will be uh, to a menu text, left to a parent and top constraint to a top constraint of the menu. And we're going to set top constraint to uh, 12. Uh, left to uh, 20. Uh, okay. And I think it looks good now. For now, we're going to change that maybe a little bit later. All right, so let's change the, the ID for uh, our navigation icon to navigation. Okay. And we can add one more uh, image view now. Select a notification icon from our asset folder. Uh, again, let's uh, connect all those constraints. Left constraints to uh, constraint to menu, top constraint to menu as well, and right constraint uh, to the parent. So we need to align uh, those three elements here on the screen. Uh, uh, right constraint should be 20. Okay, and maybe we should uh, increase uh, top constraint on our navigation icon to fit the, the line. So uh, maybe 16, okay, and now it looks quite, quite better and uh, very similar to our design in uh, Adobe XD. So let's open up our application to see how it looks like. And uh, it's, it's pretty much good, yeah. Uh, almost exactly like in our design and now we're going to search for uh, okay just uh, let's uh, change the ID to a uh, notification all right and now we need to add a scroll view but a horizontal scroll view and this horizontal scroll view will uh, handle our uh, will contain our buttons you'll see now First let's add the uh, width and height to 200 dp so we can see its size. Connect the right and left constraint and bottom constraint as well. So now change the width to match constraints and it will uh, increase its size to match the parent. And uh, height, uh, let's say 100 for now. And uh, inside our horizontal scroll view we have a linear layout. And inside this linear layout, we're going to add our buttons. So uh, the first button will be called uh, Pesta. The text will be Pesta. All right. Uh, text uh, size and text color and font should be uh, changed as, as well. So uh, font should be maybe light. And now we're going to create uh, new custom button so in drawable directory click new uh, drawable resource file we're going to name it custom uh, white button and uh, click ok so here uh, our parent will be shape and uh, attribute shape will be uh, set to rectangle so we're going to add uh, one item which is solid uh, it will contain a color for our background and it will be white color and the corners is a radius which will set to 100 dp okay and now inside our button we're going to say background and we're going to connect our new custom button as you can see it looks uh, the same as uh, in our adobe xd design okay so we need to add the margins uh, left margin to 10 dp 
which is the same as in our design and then we need to add margin start as well to be compatible with uh, uh, with uh, other versions of android okay 10 dp as well and now uh, i think we should uh, add one more button but let's change this id to pesta button and uh, now we can uh, create a new drawable resource file uh, named custom black button so this uh, will be uh, our black button we're going to copy this code here and paste it but we're going to change just the color which uh, will set to black okay and now when we copy this button down below we're just going to change the id of course and uh, text to pizza and uh, of course uh, background to custom black button and uh, text color to white okay uh, we forgot to add a horizontal linear layout so we're going to switch orientation from vertical to horizontal and now it, it looks way better so select the scroll view and uh, layout height set to wrap content and uh, we are going to add the margin here we have 26 margin uh, down below on the bottom so on our uh, horizontal scroll view we are going to set bottom margin to 26 dp and now we have that it's pretty the same as in our design so now we're going to copy this button again, a white button, and we're going to change the ID and the text. The text will be this time a salad. And let's copy again and paste it again. Uh, let's change to uh, meet uh, button. Let's change the text as well. Okay. And let's add one more button so we can scroll uh, horizontally. To see how it uh, looks like so paste it here again change the ID and text huh. this one should be named uh, let's say fries okay and uh, ID will be fries uh, fries button all right and uh, I think we can uh, run the application to see uh, how it looks like but before that uh, change the font to uh, bold for our uh, black uh, button text and let's run the application to see uh, how it looks like okay as you can see we can uh, scroll here right on and left horizontally but we have one problem we can see this scroll uh, bar and it's not uh, very good for eye so in order to remove this scroll, scroll bar, uh, go to uh, main activity here and we're going to add one uh, attribute uh, in our scroll uh, horizontal scroll view, scroll, uh, scroll bars and we're going to set that to none. Alright, and when we run application again, uh, that scroll bar will disappear. So now our application looks much better and uh, there is one more thing to to uh, modify here so all our texts here are uh, uh, uppercase letters so we need to change that we're going to change that by uh, adding one uh, more attribute to our buttons which is uh, all caps uh, let me check it out uh, set all caps we'll set that to false and copy this line of code to each of the buttons down below okay paste that here and here and here and here so let's run this app again and as you can see those uh, texts are now uh, not all uh, uppercase letters and we might need to add uh, bold font because uh, i'm not able to see that uh, those uh, texts correctly they, those are too small so let's change to uh, SF Pro Display Bold uh, replace all the light fonts to bold and let's check it check it out now <clears throat> okay now it looks very 
very nice okay guys uh, that was it for this tutorial it's already 15 minutes uh, i will split this uh, tutorial in two parts so in the next part we're going to finish uh, designing our application um, so please like this video if you find it helpful of course uh, subscribe to my channel if you uh, if you like this content uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video